hi guys welcome back to my channel so i am filming a highly requested video today and that is a hair tutorial never ever did i think i would see the day where i filmed a hair video because my hair journey has been a journey it's honestly come such a long way kind of wish i documented the process a little bit more because i don't really have any like before photos or videos to show you but if you followed me for a long time you would know how far my hair has come so after absolute years sorry i'm absolutely freezing <laughs> um of wearing extensions i took them out i think maybe like a year and a half ago maybe um and i had full intentions of getting them back in and then i thought do you know what i don't want to wear extensions for the rest of my life there's no problem with wearing extensions but for me like where i work out i was having to like wash my hair every day it was so much upkeep it was expensive um so yeah for me personally i just i wanted to start the journey for my natural hair and i'm so impressed like the growth, the thickness, everything. So even though I am just gonna show you how I style my hair for every day, I thought I'd just talk through some of the products that I just love for my hair because, because yeah, I have been on an absolute journey. So it is still a bit wet and to be honest, I would prefer it to be a little bit more wet, but I got carried away and before you know it, my hair is basically dry. <laughs> um, But, so this is freshly washed damp hair. When it comes to washing my hair, I swear by Grow Gorgeous. So I differ between these. So this is the Repair. So this one's still wet. I've actually used this one today. Um, so this is the Repair and Rescue range. And then this is the Intense range. So this is the one I mainly use. And I put the thickness down to my hair to this range. I swear by it, honestly. It's made such a difference um but sometimes i just like to give it a break and use this because i feel like this just gives my hair moisture and softens it so holy holy grail but if you are looking just to start your hair journey i would recommend that's what i put down to my hair growth and then when you get to your hair to a good stage i feel like that's when it's good to use the this range so this is repair sorry and this is the intense range um so i did always used to use olaplex but my hairdresser actually said when your hair has got enough protein olaplex can do the opposite and start to damage it so yeah so i stopped using that because i feel like my hair got to the point where it had more than enough protein in it and then probably twice a week depending how often I have to wash my hair, I hair mask. So I use a few different hair masks, but for repair and like damaged hair and hair growth and stuff like that, I swear by this one. By the way, this is not an ad. I feel like this is coming across as an ad, um, but they all just seem to be the same products. Um, again, very gorgeous. This is the intense hair mask. So I probably use this once or twice a week. I swear by it, love it um and then the other thing from the range which for the life of me i cannot find is the hair oil i literally used it last night so it's around here somewhere um but before hair wash day i smother my my scalp in the hair oil which is somewhere and then i went to pilates with my hair oil in this morning washed it out but i also use it like every other day as well but i don't put as much in so it doesn't leave my hair super greasy i just put like the tiniest bit in my scalp so that i can still style my hair day to day um but yeah i don't know where that is so so i can't show you that and then one other thing i love using is this brush i don't know what it's called i think it was literally like I don't know five pounds from amazon or something but it's just like a hairbrush when i've got my oil in i just massage my scalp you can also just massage your scalp without the hair oil in but apparently this stimulates growth i also do this <laughs> don't know the technical term but that's also great but enough of that let's get into the styling part of the video so normally i just wear my hair 
the same majority of the time so i'm just going to show you like my day today style my hair is still damp the front bits are a bit too dry for my liking but this will make it a little bit wetter this by the way it's just heat protection spray this is the ghd one i love this one i also love the gizu hair protection spray it smells like coconuts it's great um so heat protection is one thing i just would never live without so please make sure you are using heat protection spray um so i use the dyson to do my hair and again i feel like my hair condition has got so much better since using the dyson before i would hair dry it i'd straighten it and then i would tong it and it was just so much heat and damage on my hair that i bit the bullet and bought the dyson so yes it is expensive but it's so worth it and and i know some people say the dyson just doesn't hold their curls um and i think some hair types that is probably true and obviously everyone is different but this one product is the reason i feel like my hair keeps this is my holy grail hair secret um and it's not really a secret <laughs> it's the gizzy prep me prime me to find me it's basically a hair primer which i put into my hair before i've styled it and um, so i put like a pea size put that through and then just brush it through and then just brush it through but i swear when i use this product my curls and my hair seem to last me so i'd highly recommend but also stuff like mousse texture spray will help keep your curls in but personally i just love this one because it also smells nice okay so i section my hair probably into three parts i'm not that fussy with it and then i just grab tiny little sections i usually start with the back just because i find it easier that way sections about that big i use the smaller barrel on the dyson and then i go in with the hot heat again roll that out and then go up hold it for like a few seconds And then blow it with the cold heat. I can see my hunchback <laughs> in the mirror. And then just let that go. And then as you can see, you've got the perfect curl. And then you just go round. Obviously don't panic about the curl just yet. And then you go round and do that to your whole head okay so that is one side down down yeah i guess so but i meant done <laughs> and then i'm just going to twist my barrel and go in on this side can't really look like a poodle but let's just roll with it and then I go in with the second layer and then I'm going to do the exact same so I'm probably just going to do a time lapse so you don't get bored so currently looking like a crazy woman um but I grab these two bits brush them together and then i go go in with the wand but i go away from my face so i curl them backwards then you look like an absolute poodle but then for the most satisfying thing is the brush out this is my all-time favorite part
I mean, look at that. Of course it's gonna drop out, but this is the instant result. And then to finish off, I always go in with a hair oil. This is the gizzy one, but this one is basically run out. So let's see if I can squeeze anything out of it. Okay, and there we have it. But I hope you enjoyed that video. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.